Kim here from Adelaide West Physio and Pilates Studio and today I'm going to take you through the common mistakes that people make while doing an exercise on the reformer called the knee stretch. Uh, knee stretch is a strange name for this exercise because it's more like going into a kneeling plank. Uh, we use this a lot for teaching people to dissociate between their hips and their lumbar spine. It's also really good for shoulder stability and core strength. Now we're a little less particular on how you do exercises than we used to be. It's not about being absolutely perfect, but if you do the exercise in the right way, then you'll get the most benefit from the muscles. So the exercise um, that we see people doing incorrectly quite a lot is this exercise here. So you're starting with your hands on the foot bar and bottom back over, the, um, over your heels. You've got this nice neutral curve in your lower back. And what happens is we open the equipment up into this kneeling plank. Um, a lot of the time what we see is people actually not extending through their hips and keeping a bent um, bend in their hips and then pushing through their arms. And when you do this, you're not getting the same impact through your core. We're also not fully dissociating between the hips and the lower back. So what we want to do is really make sure that you're stretching your knees backwards and your hips almost come down towards the spine. I've still got this neutral curve in my spine, but my abdominals are working quite hard. The other thing that people do wrong in this exercise is they often let their shoulders come up around their ears. So we get our hips down towards the spot to your spine, but the shoulders start hunching up here. Um, when you do this, you're not maintaining that scapular position. Um, and you're not actually getting the most out of the exercise. So, common mistake, hips staying here, shoulders up at the ears, and then pushing away in this weird flexed position. What we wanna do is make sure you're coming into that nice straight plank, shoulders are down, shoulder blades are pulling down towards my spine. To make this exercise harder, you can extend your arms further, which will really increase the load on my shoulders and my abdominals, and then come back in. The last common mistake that people do with this exercise is they look straight ahead. And when you're doing this, you've got extension through the neck. What we want to do is lengthen through the back of the neck, and make sure you're looking in this direction through here. So if you do that exercise properly, you're really getting work through, especially the upper, upper abdominals, the scapulae, you're stabilizing through the shoulders, and then you're getting this dissociation where you're learning how to move your hips away from your lower back and your pelvis. Hopefully you've got something useful from that. I'm going to create a few more videos, um, so keep an eye out for them with other common mistakes that people make. Thanks for listening. Hey, thanks for watching our video. If you liked it, we would love it if you would hit the thumbs up button below. It lets YouTube know that we know what we're talking about and that we're helping people. If you like the style of our videos and you'd like to see more of them and know when a new one is published, then just hit the subscribe button. And if you've got any thoughts or comments or questions, please add them below because we answer all of them. And we love to hear comments because it helps us to shape the channel and find out what people want to know. It helps it to become as relevant as possible for everyone. So thank you.